We wanted to make you aware of the life-saving efforts of one of our officers. Officer Luis Salas was dispatched on Tuesday around 6.30 p.m. to the Etowah River Park, where two teenagers had fallen into the river and were unable to get out. I took off my gear, took my belt off quickly and my vest off. So I immediately get in the water, so I swim my way down that way uh, until I finally catch up to them. And so the both of them are holding on to this uh, branch and they're scared and they're um, panicking. So I tell them calmly, you know, hey, you know, I'm uh, Officer Salas, I'm here to help you. I need y'all to just to trust me with your lives. Please just trust me and calm down or we can get out of this. All three of us are locked and go home. The female, the juvenile female told me she was she cannot swim to save her life because she's scared. She's scared. So I told her to calm down, you know. Hold on to me and I'll get, I'll get us all to safety. We're very fortunate at the Canton Police Department. Each vehicle is equipped with a buoy. Uh, this allows the officers to swim um, and give them a flotation device as well as a throw rope. The officers that arrived on scene were able to assist the teenagers that were struggling in the water as well as Officer Solace with this throw bag. This throw bag works as you hold on to one end of it, throw the bag into the water, 90 foot of rope is extended, uh, which definitely helped in rescuing these individuals. Uh, Corporal Lilly, finally arrived on scene. He, he went up here somewhere. He had a buoy in his hand. So he tossed the buoy down, which helped relax the female, uh, helped her stay calm. I told her just to hold on, do not let go of this buoy, whatever you do. The female got stuck on a branch, I believe. So I had to quickly snap that branch off. Uh, and I, I just grabbed her at that point and I just came quickly this way where Officer Crawford came and helped her get back onto the bank. So I swung back to get the other male and kept them both safely out of here. I asked Officer Solace if the water was cold. <sighs> it's freezing. <laughs> it was freezing. A little bit about me, I've been in the Marine Corps, so I have um, taken um, swimming qual qualifications many times. Um, and it's always been in cold water, always. It's never been warm. Once they arrived on shore, uh, fire and rescue were staged, and they were able to give the teenagers warm blankets. Uh, the female was taken to Cherokee Hospital, where she was soon after released. On behalf of the Canton Police Department, we thank you, Officer Solace, and your team for your heroic efforts.